A lot of people uh, use this glass display cabinet made by IKEA for hamster cages. It's about five feet long and what they do is they use it horizontally and just don't put a lid on it since hamsters don't jump and now they have this enormous five foot long tank for only sixty dollars. But I wanted to do the same thing for my mice but I don't have uh, horizontal space like that so I decided to make it into a vertical thing and it fits exactly between my closet door and this other cabinet thing that I have. Um, I'm going to do a different video about how exactly I made it, but an overview is you take this glass display cabinet, it's called the Detulf, and you assemble it as directed, but you leave the door off. So for the door, what I did is I made a frame from a do-it-yourself window screen kit that you can buy at Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. It comes with a long six foot long these aluminum frames and you cut it to size and then it comes with little plastic corner pieces and normally you make a window screen frame with it but um, I did it for a door and then for this I used a car grill I know a lot of people use hardware cloth for their animal cages but all the hardware cloth I could find is galvanized which means it's treated with zinc zinc is actually poisonous and I did not want anything that my little guys could lick and get zinc poisoning from so this is an aluminum car grill it comes in a big long sheet not rolled up very easy to work with um, so I used stainless steel machine screws and nuts and bolts and stuff to drill a little, I drilled holes and then I attached it um, what else it was about two inches too short so at the bottom I used aluminum flashing to take up the slack and um, I bent over the top so it's not sharp on the inside and the sharp part is right here facing out where they can't get to it. Uh, what else did I do? Let's see. Um, the locking mechanism is my favorite part. So what I did was, I'll show you. So inside, um, these things are great. These are called cable clamps and I'll put a link in this video to where I got them. And this size exactly fits on these vertical bars that come in the case. So you screw them to the sides and then they stay in place and they hold things. So you could put an extra shelf in that way, etc. But what I did was I made these little metal pieces out of coat hangers and I clamped it to the thing and then on the outside it's just a little loop that I made. So the way I keep the door shut is shut the door I have this magnet that's got the big knob on the end and I just stick it there and it just blocks the door from opening. So I've got four of these locks and to open the door I just stick this on the other side so that it won't get lost and there you go. I made the shelves from Egg Crate, also known as Light Diffuser, and these go in place of the glass shelves and this way I could cut a little thing out to make it easier for them to climb up. They just climb right up this grill but you can also hang things from here if you want. And uh, what else? Um, I didn't want them chewing the ends. The only thing about this display cabinet that's not glass are these end, ca end caps, I call them. So I got a piece of plexiglass that's exactly the right size, and I drilled holes in to match the pre-drilled holes in this wooden piece, and I just put these metal bars right through it. I also put these cable clamps here to hold it up, so now they cannot chew the top. On the bottom, what I did is I made this box out of acrylic to hold bedding. And um, right now they're all asleep in their little house. But So this does everything they need. It's got um, a water bottle. It's got a climbing wall. This is a foraging wall for birds. It's made out of seagrass. And my guys really like to chew it up and stuff. I made this wall just out of cardboard and glued things onto it. And I'm holding it in place by... I don't know if you can see that, but I made another hook out of coat hangers, just a hook on the vertical bar that comes with it, and um, this I just glued onto the back of, I don't know if you can see that, but I glued a piece of cardboard here with this little hook in between to hang it, very easy, and um, I guess that's it. Oh, here's a little flying saucer wheel. What I did is I made a little stand for it with popsicle sticks to hold it in place and this on the bottom has little feet so that they fit into this egg carton, egg, uh, egg crate. I can hold it in place and I can still run on it and 
I bought a whole bunch of egg cartons from Amazon. I got 140 for like $44, which is like 38 cents a carton. And I like these because they don't have any labels. And these actually don't have any printing either. So I don't feel bad about them chewing it and stuff. So anyway, that is my... That is what I'm calling the mouse condo, and uh, so far it's great. My guys really like it. They have a lot of space and they have a lot to do, and it does not take up a lot of horizontal space in my room. It's about five feet tall, and it's only about, I don't know, a foot and a half wide. But uh, anyway, that's it. One thing I forgot to mention is that the door hinges that come with the Detolf are not wide enough to accommodate this aluminum frame, so I had to buy new ones that are wider. But I'll put a link in the info of this video. They do sell them that are wide enough to accommodate this and still fit in the pre-drilled holes.